Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today we're going to be removing the uh, filter caps for the uh, uh, 35 amp uh, Racer Star V2s. Um, and uh, first we're going to start by removing the heat shrink wrapping. Um, let's get that out of the way. I, I prefer to do it from here since there's nothing around here. So I don't risk damaging anything. So let's get that out of the way. Don't do it too hard because... Uh, once you add a little pressure, it'll just come off because you've already weakened it. <clears throat> okay, maybe I didn't. Alright, now I did. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Alright. Okay. So, <clears throat> in the previous video, we already traced it on this uh, ESC and it was and it was right there this is the one we're gonna remove so I prefer to use uh, this type of head on my soldering iron and I set it to 450 so we can just get in there quick and just get out before hitting anything else and uh, Let's let me prepare everything and let's get that started. All right, guys, everything's ready and uh, let's get started. Okay, it's gonna be a bit difficult to do it on camera, but uh, okay, I'm just gonna push on it until it something gives. And you're gonna have it on a uh, 450. Okay, came off. Alright, good. Now, <clears throat> what I like to do is I get a little flux, just in case. And, uh, if I put some on it. And I just tap the solder pads, just to make sure they, nothing is touching. No, and I do the capacitors around it. And we have one that moved. Uh, we're gonna fix the uh, the uh, capacitor that moved um, while I was removing the uh, filter one. And uh, I'm just gonna put some flux on here. And then we're gonna set the uh, hot air to 375 and let it heat up all right okay all right should be good now now if everything goes well it should just pop back into place by itself I increased it to uh, 400 now, and the airflow a bit. There we go. Pop. The guys, the uh, last part of the video, right as it popped into place, the uh, camera died, and uh, 
as you can see it popped right into place and uh, seems pretty good uh, it was this one right here this one it went off sideways and uh, I popped it back. I managed to pop it back into place so um, <clears throat> this is how you remove it from the 35 amp Racer Star V2 ESCs and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, found it useful so uh, please like and subscribe and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions feel free to ask and just let me know down in the comment section and um, happy flying <laughs>